Good evening and welcome to 2 News at 10. I'm Kadeja Hawkins. And I'm Sartaj Singh. We start tonight with a local university taking a monthly initiative to address the growing need in the Miami Valley for Spanish speakers in the medical field. Over the past three events, nearly 400 people have attended. Each clinic only lasts about three hours and are offered to both English and Spanish. 2 News reporter Grace Hewitt joins us live in studio following up with the medical students on how the program is continuing to break barriers. Grace? At Wright State University, students with the Latino Medical Student Association are continuing to strike down barriers, making sure that language will never cause the Latino community to miss out on important doctor's appointments. The Latino Wellness Clinic is aiming to bridge gaps in health care access. They get to work with people from different cultures, from different backgrounds. It started a few years ago as a few Wright State students recognized the inequalities Latino families were facing in the community. And I think us volunteering and us seeing these disparities in our own community uh, can help us become better physicians as we transfer into the real world and into real medicine. Services are free and community members can receive multiple resources. In addition to traditional medical services, the clinic also offers financial, educational, and legal resources. Volunteers for the clinic say it's great to be a part of something that's helping to bridge the gap. People feel uh, more confident, people feel safer when there is a, when, when there is a, a group of, uh, of people that bridge this gap of, uh, of uh, the language barrier. And in helping people feel more confident, volunteers say it helps people feel understood and empowered to prioritize their health and well-being. Your main language, your, your home language, is the one that is coming to your mind. So when these, uh, these students come and, and make a big effort to speak Spanish, make a big effort to, to bring volunteers like us. And the next clinic will be Saturday, April 20th. And to find out how you can volunteer, you can head to our website at WDTN.com and click on this story. In studio, Grace Hewitt, 2 News.